Our planet is an incredibly awesome place. Despite centuries of trying to discover all of its secrets, we continue to discover new things about our past. In the past several years, the changing climate revealed some secrets hidden by ice. Today, we'll look at the most amazing secrets hidden by permafrost. From an ancient virus to a mammoth brain, here are 15 of the most incredible things found frozen in ice. Number 15. 48,500-year-old zombie virus. Recently, researchers celebrated their success in reviving a zombie virus that has been trapped in ice for the last 48,500 years. Hearing the word zombie virus might be quite alarming, but there's nothing for you to worry about. European researchers found ancient samples of pathogens in permafrost in the Siberia region of Russia. The changing climate and the thawing ice exposed many things that were previously unknown to us, including nearly two dozen viruses. Among them were 13 new pathogens that somehow remained frozen in permafrost. Scientists took it as a chance to learn more about our past, and they did something more amazing in the process. A team of researchers from Russia, Germany, and France worked together to bring the virus back to life. Hence, the pathogens obtained the name zombie viruses. Needless to say, when this name reached headlines and online articles, a lot of people were quite disturbed. I must admit that the name is quite misleading, and the revived pathogens aren't a cause of worry for health risks. Most of the pathogens are only capable of infecting amoeba microbes, hence why they aren't seen as risky to human health. But as the ice continues to thaw and ancient permafrost slowly melts, there's a chance that a virus that's capable of infecting humans could blindside us. Hopefully that won't be the case. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Marcelin and Francine Dumoulin On August 15, 1942, husband and wife Marcelin and Francine Dumoulin left to go milking and never returned home. Along with their seven children, the couple lived in Switzerland where Francine made a living as a teacher while Marcelin was a shoemaker. They were an ordinary family who didn't have conflict with anyone, and so it was incredibly strange when Marcelin and Francine disappeared. Their children had no idea of their whereabouts, and they remained clueless about their parents' disappearance until decades later. Despite searching for their parents until they reached old age, the couple's children had no luck finding their bodies until the ice decided to reveal them. 75 years after the couple's disappearance, a worker on Saint Florent Glacier discovered two bodies near a ski lift above a resort at an altitude of 8,600 feet. Because of the freezing temperature in the area, their bodies remained well preserved even after decades passed. The bodies were of a man and a woman, both of whom were wearing clothes that dated back to World War II. DNA analysis was carried out to guarantee the identity of the deceased, but the Dumoulin's children were confident that the bodies belonged to their parents. According to one of Dumoulin's daughters, her mother never had time to experience such an excursion. Her mother wasn't adept at climbing as she always stayed at home. Experts believe that the two may have fallen into a crevasse. Unable to get up, the couple died of hypothermia and starvation. The bodies of the couple were perfectly preserved in the glacier. Their clothes and bags were also wonderfully intact. Number 13. 100-Year-Old Notebook Paper is one of the most fragile materials in the world. It catches fire easily, and water can easily break it into pieces. And yet, the books that we treasure are made from this material. That's why manuscripts are handled with care. Most papers in the world hold precious treasures in the form of knowledge. That's why many were surprised when explorers recovered a 100-year-old notebook in the Antarctic ice. The notebook belonged to an explorer named Robert Falcon Scott. He was a British naval officer and explorer who led the second expedition to reach the South Pole from 1910 to 1912. Unfortunately, the expedition was a disaster. While traveling Antarctica in 1912, the reputable explorer died. However, he left behind a legacy in the form of artifacts that we continue to discover in the frozen environment. But perhaps the most special was the 100-year-old notebook that belonged to George Murray Levick a surgeon and photographer who joined Scott's expedition. The exciting discovery was unexpected. Although the majority of the notebook remained intact, its bindings had long dissolved, and the pages got stuck together. Fortunately, a paper conservator was able to separate and clean the pages. The notebook was restored back to its original state as well. 
The notebook contained penciled notes and photos at Cape Adair in 1911. After digitally recording all of its contents, the notebook was returned to Antarctica, where it remains to be one of the 11,000 artifacts at Cape Evans. Number 12. P-38 Aircraft On July 15, 1942, six P-38 fighters were ordered to return to Greenland. On their way, the aircraft were forced to make an emergency landing because of a strong blizzard. The planes landed on an icy field on one of the glaciers in Greenland. All members on board were rescued, but the aircraft and seven others were left behind. In time, they were eventually buried under a staggering 268 feet of snow and ice. About 50 years later in 1992, one of the P-38 aircraft left buried under ice and snow was extracted and restored. The aircraft was good enough to be used again, and since then it has become known as Glacier Girl. In 2011, a team of experts set out on a mission to recover another one of the P-38 fighters that landed in Greenland. Using ground-penetrating radar mounted on drones, experts managed to spot another one of the buried World War II warbirds. Although these aircraft have long been buried beneath snow, they're still considered historical artifacts and can easily be restored to bring back their use. Number 11. Five Crates of Century-Old McKinley Whiskey who doesn't like a good drink? If you enjoy social drinking, you might be impressed to hear about five crates of whiskey that have been on the rocks for an entire century. In 1909, polar explorer Ernest Shackleton and his group traveled to the Antarctic. Shackleton led three British expeditions to the Antarctic, and he was one of the figureheads of the period known as the Heroic Age of Antarctic Exploration. Although he was deep in debt during the last few years of his life, his expeditions were remembered by the public again years after his death. Years after his death, experts went back to one of his huts in the Antarctic, where they stumbled upon not one, but five crates of Scotch whiskey with a bonus of two bottles of brandy. I guess the exploration team really prepared for the trip. Some of the bottles were cracked by the freezing climate, but according to those who moved the crates, they could hear liquid moving as they were transferring them. The current distillery owner, White & McKay, launched the bid to recover the Scotch whiskey. Their reason? They wanted to obtain samples of the century-old brew and decide whether they could relaunch the defunct spirit again. Would you be interested in trying it out? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 10. Mountain Climber Finds 100 Precious Jewels on Mont Blanc It sounds like a fictional story, but it's something that really happened. In 2013, a Chamonix mountaineer discovered a metal box that contained valuable contents. Inside the box were 100 precious stones, from rubies to sapphires, emeralds, and other luxurious jewelry. The so-called treasure chest was something that didn't belong on the Bossens Glacier on Mont Blanc. Why was something as precious as a jewelry box filled with items worth hundreds of thousands of dollars hidden in the frozen French Alps? You would think the mountaineer would take the lot for himself, but he didn't. Instead, he turned his findings over to the authorities. The authorities were baffled by the discovery, but they quickly thought of a theory as to where the jewels came from. On July 24, 1966, an Air India plane carrying 117 passengers crashed over the French Alps. The plane was chartered from Mumbai to New York, but it never reached its destination. Authorities believe that the jewelry box was from one of the passengers on the unfortunate flight. We still don't have any solid evidence, but I don't think there's a better reason for the appearance of the precious box in the Alps. What's more, this wasn't the very first unusual find in the area. According to authorities, they've also found tools, letters, shoes, cables, and even fragments of the plains all over the frozen mountains. Some even claim that they stumbled upon the remains of a human before. What would you have done if you were the one who found this luxurious find? Would you have taken it for yourself? Or would you ask the authorities for help locating its real owners? Number 9. Millions of Grasshoppers Seventy miles southwest of Billings, Montana, in the Beartooth Mountains of the United States, lies a curious glacier. 11,000 feet above sea level, this bizarre glacier isn't pure white or even off-white in color. Instead, it's often compared to the skin of an elephant because of its grayish hue, but it gets weirder. This glacier isn't simply strange in color, but it also contains something bizarre. After all, there's a reason why it was named Grasshopper Glacier in the first place. Most people think that the massive chunk of ice received its name because of some silly reason. But inside the glacier are millions of grasshoppers, or rather locusts. 
Millions of these insects were somehow entombed in the frozen graveyard, and millions of years might pass before they get thawed out. Although we don't know how exactly the Grasshopper Glacier came to be, we have several theories. The most popular theory states that centuries ago, billions of locusts flew over the Rocky Mountains to migrate elsewhere. But in the process, the entire swarm was trapped by a massive winter storm. Unable to fly or escape, the insects were buried where they fell on the ice. And in time, the glacier encased them in their icy tomb. Unless you're scared of insects, the Grasshopper Glacier is a pretty amazing attraction. Number 8. Iron Age Tunic Experts discovered an Iron Age tunic under melting snow in the Norwegian mountains. The article of clothing was made from wool, and yet it remained incredibly well preserved. The discovery signified that the Earth's climate is becoming warmer, and in time, the ice will continue to melt. The Iron Age tunic was taken by experts who examined the cloth and the process of how it was made. Attempts to recreate it were also carried out. Shirts, tunics, jackets, and even fleece blankets can easily be obtained in modern times. But during the Iron Age, a single piece of this tunic was considered an item of high value. Researchers also discovered bow fragments in an arrow where the tunic was found. But unlike the wool clothing, the weapons are from the Neolithic period about 6,000 years ago. Number 7. Utsi the Iceman more than three decades ago, experts discovered a well-preserved body lying face down on the ice. This well-preserved body became known as Utsi, the Iceman. He was found on the edge of a lake at an altitude of about two miles in the Utstel Alps between Austria and Italy. Because of how well-preserved he was, Utsi became the most famous mummy discovered on the continent of Europe. At first glance, Utsi looks like nothing more than a grim and horrifying mummy. But experts know that there's more to this mummy that meets the eye. More than 5,000 years ago, Utsi was a man who had quite a short stature. He was only about 5 feet 2 inches tall. Although he was already 46 years old when he died, he was left-handed and used most of his tools with his left hand, which, once again, was quite unusual. If he was alive today, he would have worn U.S. men's size 8 shoes. He had type O blood and was also lactose intolerant. Although Utsi's eye socket still held his organs, Thousands of years made it difficult to try and determine his eye color, but it was either brown or blue. Utsi suffered from quite a lot of health problems. Aside from his inability to properly digest milk, he had a rare genetic anomaly that led him to only develop 11 pairs of ribs instead of the usual 12. His body was also covered by sores, and his teeth were full of cavities. His intestines? Well, they were full of harmful parasites. In his last days, Utsi ate a hearty meal of einkorn wheat, red deer, and ibex. Unfortunately for him, his diet wasn't quite the right choice as he had the earliest evidence of heart disease ever discovered. Tragically, Utsi's cause of death was something more sinister. Experts found a cut between the thumb and first finger of Utsi's right hand. This led researchers to believe that Utsi was stabbed a few days before he died. He most likely grabbed the blade to stop it, but his perpetrator still managed to deal a blow to him. Several days later, he was attacked again, this time with an arrow that hit an artery in his back shoulder. And within minutes, he died. When Utsi fell down and perished, the warm summer winds dried him out before the ice naturally encased his body and preserved him for scientists to discover today. Number 6. 32,000-Year-Old Seeds It's natural for humans to want to bring back something that ceased to exist long ago. Perhaps that's why when archaeologists discovered seeds encased in ice, the first thought that came to their minds was the plan to bring the seed back to life. The seeds were discovered 124 feet below the permafrost, surrounded by layers of bones. Initially, experts thought that germinating the seeds would be impossible. But maybe miracles do happen. The team extracted the tissue from the 32,000-year-old seeds and placed them in vials. They carefully took care of the seeds until they successfully germinated them. Amazingly enough, a beautiful plant grew. It bore small flowers, which may not look like much, but these blossoms represent decades of research. This feat led scientists to devise a way to properly preserve seeds in the future, which might soon save our fauna. Number 5. 57,000-Year-Old Wolf Pup Who doesn't like puppies? Everyone does. 
That's why archaeologists were delighted to discover a young wolf puppy frozen in Yukon permafrost in Canada's territory in 2016. The miner who discovered the wolf mummy was named Neil Loveless. Although the miner didn't stumble upon a precious gemstone, he was the one who found the oldest and most well-preserved wolf mummy ever discovered. Loveless decided to dig out the wolf mummy and retrieve the chunk of permafrost where it was encased. He then placed the frozen pup inside a massive freezer until experts could have a look. After careful analysis, they discovered that the wolf pup was a young female who lived 57,000 years ago. When American mastodons roamed Canada, the locals named the young wolf Jure, which translates to the word wolf in the Han language. The young pup lived at a time when the Arctic glaciers were receding. The environment around Canada shortly became warmer, and the snow that once covered the grasslands melted. This change introduced new life to the environment. The woodlands were occupied by camels, beavers, mastodons, and gray wolves. Jure's DNA suggested that she was a descendant of wolves from both Alaska and Eurasia. But the curious thing is that the wolves living in Yukon today have a different genetic signature. This implies that the gray wolves that lived in the chilly grasslands of Yukon tens of thousands of years ago were all completely wiped out and replaced by other populations that came from different places. Number 4. Alaska's Haunting Installation Many of us have learned to adapt to the freezing temperatures in some places of the world. Despite the fact that man is susceptible to the cold, we still persevered and found ways to settle permanently, even in the frostiest and numbing environments. On Point Warrenzov near Anchorage, Alaska, are 85 individuals that continue to endure the harsh weather along the country's icy waters and numbing wind. These are the sculptures installed along the coast of Alaska by artist Sarah Davies. The sculptures look so realistic, especially during sundown. Davies suffered from undiagnosed fibromyalgia for years. This caused the artist to feel immense musculoskeletal pain, mood issues, and an amplified sensitivity to pain. At the time, everything felt wrong and confusing for her. For this reason, she decided to isolate herself. These sculptures were meant to represent how she felt and how many others continue to feel all throughout the world. All 85 of the statues were meant to represent everyone who persevered and pulled through a mental disorder or an illness. Although the sculptures were well made, several of them already show signs of wreck from being exposed to nature. Number 3. Children of Mount Uyayako at least 300 people have died attempting to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Because of how treacherous it is to reach them, most of the remains are left on the frozen mountain. Months, years, decades, and perhaps an entire century might pass. But most of the bodies in the frozen Alps will most likely remain in well-preserved condition. For this reason, when researchers first stumbled upon the remains of children of Vulcan Uyayako in Argentina, they almost thought they died recently if it weren't for the clothes they were wearing. These mummies are now known as the children of Mount Uyayako. Despite their endearing name, these children didn't live happy lives. Analysis of the three children's mummies revealed the tragic fate they suffered while living with their own tribe. The oldest remains belonged to a 13-year-old girl who looked as if she was peacefully napping while hugging her knees. Recent research revealed that these children were human sacrifices that were deliberately left on the freezing mountain to appease the god or whatever deity they worshipped. The Inca have long been known to perform rituals, and human sacrifice isn't a foreign concept. In her last years, this young girl was fed meat, something that was reserved for those who were considered elites during their time. Along with meat and a significantly better diet, she was often fed alcohol and coca. This meant that in her final days, this 13-year-old girl was in a haze, not in her right mind. What's more gut-wrenching was the fact that the two mummies found beside the young girl were even younger when they were sacrificed. Number 2. Notosaur Hundreds of millions of years ago, the mighty dinosaurs roamed our planet. Although they're extinct today, we're able to visualize and recreate replicas of their likeness through modern technology. However, there are doubts about whether the illustrations of these dinosaurs we see today are accurate but a recent discovery gave us the opportunity to look at an actual dinosaur that seemed as if he was frozen in time. In 2011, miners discovered a massive dinosaur about 18 feet long that was incredibly well-preserved. The remains belonged to a notosaur, a cousin of the tanky dinosaur Ankylosaurus. The spikes and scales on its back were still intact, allowing experts to learn more about its anatomy. 
What's more, they were also able to visualize how the last days of the dinosaur went. When the dinosaur died more than 100 million years ago, Alberta didn't have the climate it has today. Back then, it was as warm as South Carolina, and it was surrounded by water, bordered by the coast of a shallow inland seaway that stretched from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean. Researchers believe that the poor creature drowned in the seaway and somehow found its way into a safe and cold crevice. Unfortunately, the exact cause of death of the dino remains unknown. The notosaur's name literally translates to knobbed lizard, which describes it pretty perfectly. Although this creature looks like it's ready to fight anyone and anything, this massive creature was an herbivore who only nourished itself by eating plants. Its scaly armor that is somewhat similar to the modern armadillo protected it from the sharp teeth of the carnivores that hunted them. It's unfortunate that these majestic creatures no longer exist today. But if you've seen works of fiction where they were reanimated, you would know that we wouldn't stand a chance if they came back to Earth again. Number 1. Mammoth Brain In August 2010, an exploration that was the first of its kind yielded an astonishing discovery. Experts found a perfectly preserved woolly mammoth in the freezing Siberian permafrost. The mummified carcass dates back to 39,000 years ago. It was found in permafrost near Yukagir, Russia. Because of the location where it was found, the baby mammoth was lovingly named Yuka. Yuka was only six to nine years old when she died. It seemed like the younglings succumbed to the harsh environment tens of thousands of years ago. Today, Yuka's remains allow scientists to learn more about her extinct species. Yuka's carcass was more special than the others because she was one of the few who yielded a perfectly preserved organ, a mammoth brain. Modern elephants are known for being smart, and now we have the opportunity to discover whether the mammoths back then had similarly complicated behaviors. Unlike Yuka's discovery, there wasn't any opportunity for researchers to examine an entire woolly mammoth brain. According to researchers, it seemed like the predecessors of modern-day elephants were quite similar to them. There is a chance that just like the elephants today, woolly mammoths exhibited intelligence and problem-solving similar to their modern kin. What else do you think is hidden in the frozen lands on our planet? Will we live long enough to discover all of them? Make sure to check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now for more discoveries and cool facts. Take care, everybody.